the Devon Chan Salon. You may very well be asking the question, why are we here? What is here now is not so much the point of interest, rather than what once existed in this very building. It's known as the Citizen Building, as it was once home to the historic Citizen Publishing Company. Its unique architecture was designed under the firm of Orville E. Clark. As much as possible, the building's final instructions by its owner was for, wherever possible, all materials, supplies, and labor will be obtained from local sources in Culver City. Roy E. Donovan, son of building owner Eugene Donovan, relocated the citizen publishers print and printers into this newly established and customized building. The newspaper released under the company, The Citizen, was said to help better the development of the community through its influence towards better government, business, recreational facilities, adequate streets, lighting, and a variety of other projects. Its impact is clear now, as the city has become one that people now frequently drive through, as opposed to 10 years when they would intentionally drive around. The family-owned business was in operation longer than the existence of its owners, as Legacy carried it out for nearly half of an additional century. Though you may walk past where we are currently standing without any recognition of the edifice having historical importance, the small plaque to the left of its main entrance indicates its previous significance. The building stands as the first structure in Culver City to be placed on the National Registrar of Historical Places. It has landmark status by action of the City Council and is marked by the Culver City Historical Society. Yet, when any locals of Culver City are asked about insight to the area, knowledge is notably lacking. It was once a printing press of some sort, I think. It's among one of the better answers when Culver City inhabitants were asked about why it was marked as historically significant. Now a hair salon, the only remnants of its past are cemented in its Art Deco style architecture.